Well, he's had a long career, but he says always with the same purpose. He wanted to make the world a better place. As news of his retirement spread, so did celebrations marking his remarkable career. I remember many, many times going into a, a place of business and the people would take their time providing me with service. Jesse White has done a lot in life, but a small, simple phrase sums up his decades of work. Can't we all just get along? From educator to gymnast to army man to baseball player and politician, the 88-year-old has left his mark, retiring as the longest serving Secretary of State in Illinois. The list goes on and on. Recently, he sat down with us. Decades of memories and recognitions filled his office. He told us a story that set him on a path to become one of the most recognizable politicians in Illinois. Illinois Secretary of State, Jesse White. Born in Alton, Illinois, 285 miles southwest of Chicago, Jesse White made his way to what is now Lincoln Park High School. As his family searched for a better life in Chicago, he graduated as a star baseball and basketball player and went on to Alabama State University. Dr. King was my minister when I was there. And in 1955, he joined Dr. King in civil rights protests after Rosa Parks was jailed for refusing to give up her seat on a city bus, a part of American history that marked just the beginning for White. Two years later, he was a paratrooper in the U.S. Army and played minor league baseball for the Chicago Cubs organization. If that's not impressive enough, he had a 33-year career as an educator. So I've done a lot of things in my life, and so uh, I pass those experiences on to my kids because I want them to become productive citizens in our society. The kids he talks about are in many cases grown men now. 63 years ago, he founded the Jesse White Tumbling Team. I've had over 18,000 young people to come through with. And at last count, to our knowledge, only 15 have gotten themselves into trouble with the law and spent after combat juvenile delinquency. And service has been a big part of his life. In 1974, he was elected to the Illinois General Assembly. 16 years later, he became Cook County Recorder of Deeds. And six years after that, he became the first black Secretary of State in Illinois. I believe in making government offices customer friendly. My attitude and my mission is to run the office like it is a business, restore some integrity to it, and put it in a posture by which the people could be proud. And every day I work toward that end. I was committed to helping to root out corruption. But it wasn't easy. The office was mired in scandal with the former Secretary of State, George Ryan, eventually found guilty in a bribery scheme that awarded licenses to unqualified truck drivers. And we were able to clean up the office, um, and we put the office in a posture by which the people could be proud. I know the organ donor program works. My sister is living proof. Sign your license and tell your family some more lives can go on. And he's proud of it himself, launching teen driver safety legislation and an organ donation program that continues to thrive today. I became determined to sign up as many people as I could possibly find to participate in this meaningful program. For 22 years, he's run the largest Secretary of State office in the country, but stepping down is allowing him to make a big jump. I'm going to really concentrate my efforts on the tumblers that, and making sure that not only uh, will these young people become good performers and be able to use idle time in a positive way, but I want them to go out into the world and make this world a better place for all of us. And his decades of service have solidified that giving back is one of the things that matter most. He's 88 and he's still great, y'all. 88 and still great. And on January 9th, he will turn the office over to Alexei Janulius, who succeeds him as Secretary of State. He will then be able to focus more of his efforts on the Jesse White Tumbling Team, which is known for making hundreds of appearances each year. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN News.